Hey guys, Phantom Fixer here with you again, and today I want to talk about the A Case Miniatures case. This was a Kickstarter that went on last year, and I finally got mine in the mail this weekend. When you get them, you have to build them yourself, but they're remarkably easy to build. And once they're all together and put into their case, they're remarkably sturdy and pretty darn handy. One caveat to this, and I want to make sure you know this, these are smaller cases for smaller armies or skirmish type games. You're not going to fit a full up Warhammer 40k or a full up Age of Sigmar army in these things. It's not really what they're designed for. I would say these are for big skirmish games, or maybe if you have multiple of them, you could do a Warhammer army. But as you can see from the size and depth, these things are not going to handle like Necron flyers. Hell, just about any flyer they're not going to handle. So you're not going to be doing your 40k stuff with these or your big time Age of Sigmar stuff. But if you do a lot of different game systems like I do, these things are actually quite cool. Like I said, when you get them, you have to build them. And what they come in is a very flat package because everything is all done in sheet metal that is scored appropriately so that you can just, when you assemble it, you just roll it up. Really, technically, you just bend along those score lines, put tab A into slot B, and you're pretty much done. Very, very simple. It took me about, well, 15 minutes to do the first one and about 10 minutes to do the second one. You can see you just sort of bend them at the score marks and put the little tabs into the slots, bend those, and your assembly portion is done. Really simple, really cool. This is what the rear section looks like in the middle of being built. Super simple. And there's the fully built rear. You can see you just roll up the four sides and you are done. These are the actual shelves. I got two cases, so I have six shelves. You can see you're just going to bend those things and make boxes out of them. Now, one thing I'm going to bring out later is I'm seriously thinking about bending one of the fronts of the shelves off completely so that you can slide the models out easier. Because right now you actually have to pick them up out of the tray. These are pretty strong magnets, so... There's a fully assembled tray. The little holes are for the pins that hold them into the case itself. This is what the top and bottom look like. It's kind of an interesting little way it all fits together, but that's as it's being built. And once the top and bottom are fully built. Super easy to construct. Again, like I said, it took me 15 on the first and 10 on the second. If I can do it, anybody can. And when you're done, this is what you have. You have a full-up miniatures case with three shelves. Those locking pins that you can kind of see on either side are what hold the shelves in, which are actually kind of big because you don't want those shells falling out. That would be bad, especially if you maximize your space by magnetizing stuff on the bottoms of the trays as well as the tops. Close up of the little pins that hold the shelves in. Kind of handy. One thing I will say, one of the holes for one of the shells is covered up by one of the tabs. So I have to go in there and bend that the other way just to make sure the hole is exposed. Silly me. And again, just more of the inside so you can get an idea of how big these things are. And this is what I got. Now, these, again, are not designed for full-up 40K or AOS armies or anything really big. I can see them transporting a, let's say, you know, War Machine, War Mahordes army. Definitely a Malifaux or Infinity. Definitely would fit if you had multiple cases. I think two cases. You could probably start getting together with a, a 40K army or an AOS army, depending on how many tall creatures you had and how you had to do the shells. But again, it's not... I wouldn't say that it's good in that application. The pink thing on the bottom is the paintbrush holder. I think I picked that up for a couple of bucks extra on the Kickstarter, so that was a nice little thing. When I went to uh, LVO this year, I wished I had that. Here's the magnets. I ordered 120 magnets. So all told, this Kickstarter with the two cases, the brush case and the 160, mag 160 magnets, cost $120. So it's not too bad, 60 bucks a case, really. Just for giggles, I wanted to see if I could fit a Beast Claw Raiders army, my Beast Claw Raiders army, into it. And lo and behold, it fits. Here is one case with the two big creatures and a couple of the Mourn Fangs. Luckily, my figures are all completely magnetized, so the heads come off, again, magneted to the base, so they're not going to roll around or anything. And then in the next case, the rest of the army, the rest of the Mourn Fangs. And all the critters and the ice brow hunter and all that stuff. So, and if you look on the bottom, you can almost see that the banner bearer for the Mornfangs. And he's a pretty tall creature, so, you know, pretty much you can get an idea of the size of these things. It will transport a Beast Claw Raiders army. So, you got that going for you.
So again, that's it, folks. That's the A case. I definitely would give it two thumbs up for what it's intended. I would not say go out and get it if you want to transfer transport your Warhammer 40k army. Definitely, I don't think it's going to serve you in that. But for War Machine, Hordes, Malifaux, Infinity, X-Wing, all those other things, I think it'll definitely be a case that you could use. Bolt action for sure. All that stuff. I hope you enjoyed that. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe because it helps me with my self-esteem issues. And, you know. That's why we all YouTube is for self-gratification. So thanks, guys. Take care and see you later.